Hi students, welcome back. So coming to the next topic that is a string tokenizer. So first let's see what is a synchronization. A synchronization, synchronization means what? It is a mechanism that allows to access a shared resources. We are trying to access a shared resources only on only one thread at a time. This is the meaning of synchronization. Let me repeat it again. A synchronization is a mechanism that allows what it is allowing it is allowing to access a shared resources whatever the shared resources that it is accessing only one thread at a time only at one thread at a time it is accessing the shared resources that you call it as a synchronization okay so i said only one thread at a time so first of all what is a thread we all know that thread is a piece of code that executes independently. It doesn't depend on any other. The, uh, that piece of code is executing independently. So now let's read the definition again. It is a mechanism. Synchronization is a mechanism that allows to access the shared resources only one thread at a time. Means the piece of code that executes independently at a time. That is synchronization. Now coming to the string tokenizer. So this is one of the important concepts students. So try to understand about the string tokenizer. So this will be useful in the advanced uh, Java concepts also. String tokenizers, uh, it allows an application to break a string into tokens. Tokens are nothing but words. So what is a string token? A string token is what it is doing actually token means words it is allows an application whatever the uh, application is there so that application it is trying to break a string into words it allows an application to break a string into token that is the meaning of string tokenizer means it is trying to do it allows an application what whatever that application is there that is trying to break a string let's see the example here welcome to java this is completely one string. Let's call this is completely one string. And it has how many tokens? Three tokens. One is welcome. And another is two. And next is Java. Total three tokens are there. Okay. A string tokenizer is an apple. It allows an application. So uh, that is helping to, to break a string into tokens. So that is the role of the string tokenizer. Okay. So now let's take some examples. So, before working on the examples, like uh, some examples if I take, like if you want to count the number of tokens, if I want to iterate the token by token. So, to write that programs, you need some methods and constructors, right or wrong? So, you need some methods and constructors. So, first of all, uh, what methods I have to use and what constructors I have to use to write the program? Uh, uh, Java consisting of it's thousands of uh, methods and uh, constructors will be present. So, uh, in that, which which uh, method I need to be take? You will have a doubt, right? So, use the JDK tool. In the command prompt, type G Java P. Okay, profile name. P means profile name. So, in, on, on the command prompt, type JDP, uh, Java P, Java dot util dot string tokenizer. Write the package name java dot util dot string tokenizer s capital t capital because it is a class name java dot util dot string tokenizer so whenever you type this a number of methods will be come uh, under whatever the string tokenizer class is uh, acts, uh, methods or their predefined methods those will be appeared on the command prompt in that you can select whatever the com method you want for your program so, this is the way you have to select the methods because uh, everyone cannot remember all the methods. So, every time whenever you are working on a program, so try to type Java P, the package name, okay, along with this class name. So, then the methods and the constructors or the variables that we are predefined are there. So, that can be accessed, that can be used by seeing the syntax, right? Okay. So, here the programs that I want to work here is I want to count the number of tokens and I want to write a program to iterate token by token. So, those programs I want to write. So, for that, what type of methods required? So, I have taken only those methods and I am explaining about that method. Okay. Constructor. 
public string tokenizer so it's a string is a parameter string tokenizer a string is a uh, here a parameter a string will be there remember this is a constructor public string tokenizer here string parameter argument methods public boolean has more tokens i am going to use this method so that's why i have taken only public boolean has more tokens what is the use of this method it returns true if the token is present otherwise returns false suppose if the token is there in the next it wants to check suppose welcome is there welcome to java so three tokens are there it returns true if the token is present so here token is present it returns true suppose here the token is present true here is the token is present true but here token is not there false whenever it returns the false then the program is over it finds three tokens so for that case i want this method public boolean has more tokens whenever it returns false then there are no more tokens in the uh, list okay so this is one method another method public string next to token okay the cursor wants to move to the next token how it is going to move you have to tell right so for that already predefined method is there so try to access that method so what is that method public string next to token is the method what is it is doing what is the role of next token it returns the current token whatever the current token that is the welcome is there it returns the current token and move the cursor to the next okay next token if it is present okay next again it comes to the current token 2 and move the cursor to the next and move the cursor to the next so now the current token is java okay and move the cursor to the next token if it is present but if it is returns false there is no token here so that is the use of the next token so i am using that function and one more thing uh, one more method i am using that is int count public int count token so what is the use of this count token it returns number of tokens how many tokens are there that it is going to be returned okay so this is the this is the use of this program okay means uh, if you want to use the programs first of all you need to know the methods so there are so many methods are there under string tokenizer but i had taken only three methods because whatever the program i am explaining for that these three methods are required so that's why i have taken only those three methods where i have taken so i had entered the java p java dot util dot string tokenizer under that i have taken those three tokens okay mean three methods now taken means i'm just trying to know the syntax if i know the syntax then i can apply in the program right okay now here i am writing one program program to count number of tokens in a given string so how to write this program i'll explain here and next program i'll explain in the ide okay so i have to input this package otherwise the compiler will not know what is this count token what is this uh, whatever the methods has more token what is the next token the compiler will not know okay so now i want to count the number of tokens in a given string class loaded open brace executed main method called now string s welcome to java object is created so welcome to java object contains welcome to java okay now call constructor string tokenizer st is equal to a reference okay new string tokenizer i said what is a constructor the constructor contains a parameter right parameter is what string okay whatever the string here it is there here this is a string right a string s is equal to welcome to java so s is a string so i am passing here in the string tokenizer constructor first string s is equal to welcome to java next call the class you have to call the if you want to access this call that class string tokenizer st take one variable new string tokenizer it's a constructor so pass this to string tokenizer so in the string tokenizer welcome to java is passed now i have to count that number of tokens so number of tokens means it is an integer right the return type should be int so return type is int n is a variable is equal to so you have to access that string tokenizer right because 
string tokenizer contains welcome to java that will be stored in the reference of st so st dot count tokenizer count token or tokenizer so count token so whenever i had 10 count token so what well, this is one token and this is second token and this is third token three tokens that will be stored in n that is going to be printed so the output is three number of program to count number of tokens in a given string means three okay so this is the way you have to uh, write the program by using the methods so in the next video i'll explain explain one more program thank you